talking about the last time she saw her two-year-old granddaughter before she disappeared in 2008. She also broke down in tears during some of the questioning. Joining me live from Orlando, criminal defense attorney Maria Hale. Maria, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. I want to get your reaction, first of all, to Cindy Anthony's testimony yesterday. What did you think about it, and whose side did she either help or hurt? Well, uh, I think Cindy Anthony's testimony gave a realistic picture of how a, a person would think someone would react when they've lost a loved one like that. Uh, I think it helped the prosecution. I think the prosecution is just moving along, along bit by bit, um, telling the story of this little girl named Kaylee and, and what happened in those, that time when she went missing. Okay. If we look what the defense claims, um, that Kaylee accidentally drowned in the family's pool, but Cindy testified that the above ground pool was too high for Kaylee to reach by herself. So how does this testimony impact the defense's claims? Well, I think the defense in their opening statement said that it was Cindy who the day before when they were swimming left the ladder up. So I think that it's the defense's theory that little Kaylee was actually able to climb the ladder to get into the pool. Okay. Um, Cindy also went about recounting what she believes were some elaborate lies that Casey told her in the days after she last saw her granddaughter alive. Did Cindy's testimony help paint the prosecution's picture of Casey just as, as a liar and a party girl? Yes, absolutely. Some could say it helped both, though, because the prosecution is saying this is not a way. This is not the way somebody reacts when their daughter is missing. When their daughter is presumably, she knows that she's dead. But then the defense can also say, well, this just goes on to show that she's so dysfunctional because of what has happened in her past that she's able to just put that aside and not even think about it. Go out, party, have fun, and do those types of things. So really, it could go both ways. And so, with uh, Cindy being back on the stand, scheduled for Tuesday morning. If, if you were going to cross-examine her, what kind of line of questioning, where would you go with this? Well, I would definitely, um, you know, put it on the record that she wasn't there uh, when this, uh, all these things that the prosecution is saying about backing the car into the garage, that type of mm -hmm, stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I would definitely, um, you know, just go into the fact that she is the grandmother. Of course, she's going to have that type of reaction. Okay. Maria Hale, thank you very much for joining us from Orlando. Have a good one.